Hello to everyone watching this video. We are the students of final year chemical engineering Shrof SR Rotary Institute of Chemical Technology. I am Ananya Dave and my team members are Tejas Chauhan, Jasraj Devadra and Kishan Dharavin. Our project ID is 125938. The topic of today's presentation is utilization of pyrolysis carbon for wastewater treatment. Our project is guided by Dr. Sheena Gautam. As we all know that the e-waste is the second largest waste that is produced in the world. It is the major problem for the environment. E-waste contains metals and thermosetting plastic. The metals are removed from the e-waste and usually the thermosetting plastic goes for the landfilling. Due to the recent advancement, pyrolysis of e-waste is there, from which fuel oil, fuel gas and char is obtained. This char is usually the mixture of metals and activated carbon. So our main aim is to utilize this char for wastewater treatment. So first we have to active this char and then we will treat the wastewater with this char. And now they just will explain how we will do the activation of the carbon. I'm going to give a brief summary about aim objective and method of activation of char. Our aim to utilize char obtained from a pyrolysis of e-waste for a waste, wastewater treatment. The main objective is to focus how we can utilize this char as an absorbent. And now, uh, now I'm going to explain how we activate the char. For that, the char will be first washing with aqua regia and then with water. This will remove any trace material. After, after that, we will treat the char with calcium chloride and keep the slurry for 24 hours. And after the slurry will be filtered, filtered with the help of a filter paper and dry it the stone. This is the method of activation char. Now my friend, Jasraj will help you to understand this methodology and flow diagram. Hello, in a flow diagram, we can see wastewater tank that is going to add in the fixed field reactor by the help of pump. Firstly, it is important to remember that activated carbon can be used in different forms as powder or granular. The GAC is utilized in the treatment by installing in it a fixed bed reactor. To avoid the channeling in the fixed bed reactor, we have to uh, uh, consider the particle size at least 15 times smaller than the diameter of the reactor. Now, for we assume the particle size at 0.7 mm. Uh, according to this criterion, we have calculated the fixed bit, fixed bit reactor design. For this reactor, we can get treated water. For methodology, we have to prepare wastewater treatment, wastewater by the dissolving one normal acetic acid, 15 ml into the 250 ml of water. Uh, we have activated charcoal in the different different amount in a different conical class. Now we should add different amount of acetic acid in that class and water to make 100 ml solution to, for, to and further we will check what amount of acetic acid is going to absorb by the titration uh, doing with the NaOH solution. Now my friend is going to explain. So here I am going to mention some of the application of pyrolysis. First, it can be widely used for wastewater treatment. That is it to use to remove unwanted impurity of the wastewater. Also, it is used to decolorization process. Later, it can be used to remove bad odor or unpleasant smell from water. It is widely used to purification of air. So here we have activated the pyrolysis carbon in order to treat the wastewater we were successful in reducing the concentration of acetic acid from synthesis wastewater that we have prepared in our laboratory. Also, the calorific value is increased after the activation of carbon. Thereby, we conclude that the activated carbon obtained from the char is effective in wastewater treatment. Thank you for your patience and time watching our videos. 